Hey, what's up guys? Josh from Trail Built here again with Brian from Trail Built. And we are doing another from the gallery. We're gonna pick out five rigs. Uh, these ones, you're gonna love this. Mm -mm. This episode is gonna be called Rating Your Rigs Trailer Queens Oop. episode. So the reason we're gonna call it Trailer Queens is because we're gonna pick out some flashy Jeeps with flashy wheels. Uh, they're gonna be bigger wheel sizes with smaller size tires. Make me sick already. <laughs> so we're not big wheel guys. So no, we're no. off road guys, which means that I might be a little biased with this today. Sorry. Probably be a little harsh. Yeah. It's uh, all in good fun though. It's I'd still appreciate the, the, the time and effort that's and gone into absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause there's always a lot of blood, sweat and tears, a yeah. lot of pride when, when somebody's building a vehicle. Yeah. So yep. that we would never take away from somebody because I don't care if they're building a, a bro dozer or a mall crawler or, yeah. you know, even a, a street racer, um, because yeah. I know the passion and the, the um, time and effort and the, the money the and just effort, everything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Definitely. So, uh, we love everybody that's an enthusiast. We're going to start off with this 2012 Jeep Wrangler JKU. It's a four door and it's got 22 inch wheels. They're XF <laughs> off road. Negative 44. With a negative 44 offset. So designed to sit out quite a bit from the vehicle and then it has the Upturo, the trail blades. So it does have the recovery bumper, it has a winch. Has some LED shackles, bar, LED headlights. Two and a half inch lift. I like the uh, fender flares. Yeah. Those are kind of nice be, rack carrier. I want to I I find out if this guy goes off-road at all, besides the grass. You got a number in mind? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, two, one, one four. One. <laughs> so uh, it's a Jeep. It's a four door. I'm a sucker for a four door JK, but uh, it's just yeah, like we said in the beginning, the wheels just aren't my forte. Yeah. I don't really know. I, it's not really a one. I wouldn't give it a one. Everything's pretty decent about it. It's got the recovery covers, <coughs> has soft top, has a front winch on it, rock sliders, uh, four door Jeep. I guess just the wheels. And yeah, do you think the winch is for when the wheels fall off with the spacers that he can get himself off the road? Yeah, probably pull himself onto the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it's for. Yeah, okay. no, I'd, I'd probably say it's about a four, but um, so if you're looking for smaller wheels and bigger tires, head on over to trailbuiltoffroad.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Okay, number two. Number two, 2011 Jeep Wrangler JKU. It has fuel cleavers. D40s, 22 by 14s, negative 70. He doesn't need the wheel spacers because he's got the negative 70 instead of the negative 44. Right. Yeah. Saving himself some money there. Good move. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Fury off road. But if you do need wheel spacers, trailbuiltoffroad.com. That's right. Find them in the wheel spacer section right in the store. All right. So, other than that, has looks like a. Anything else? Oh, he's got some LED headlights. Rough Country, four and a half inch long yarn lift. Ooh. With the upgraded shocks. Whoa, eight stage, eight stage adjustable vertex shock. That nice. Gain some points there. Yeah, absolutely. Makes up some for, for the wheels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Recovery bumpers. Ooh, I'm not a big fan of that front bumper. Yeah. The the it's LED head. Yeah, that just looks mm -hmm. not. Yeah. Okay. Well, I suppose. Yep. All right. All right. Three, two, one, five. Four point two. Four point two. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know why. Big wheels, little tires. Nope, the point, dude, it's got a long arm kit with the Vertex because uh, the Vertex shocks are made by Profender mm -hmm. and I have a set of Profender coilovers on the nice. S10. Awesome. It's a great yeah. shock. It does have a pretty decent lift in it, that's for sure. Yeah, and with, with the fenders, flares that are on there, it, do, it doesn't look bad, it looks good. I, uh, I, I'd honestly put it at like a 5.7. Definitely would get more points if we knew it got off road. Yeah, if you had some pictures in here of them off roading it and like flexing the rocks and stuff, I'd be like, yeah, that wouldn't be bad. But yep, yep. All, All right. right, so on to our number three is a 2013 Jeep Wrangler JK has Anthem instigators, the 22 by 14, negative 76. Oh my offset. gosh. And it has the Firestone Destination MT2s, 37 inch, 13 and a half wide, BDS. Four and a half inch. Not all that bad. 
the wheels are yeah. a little big for it looks more lot. like it yeah. does have the 37 yeah. inch tires on yeah. it so it's not, i wouldn't say that so yeah. far this has been decent. all right yeah 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 okay sure i suppose ready three two one six seven. pretty close yeah six. i mean i yeah you know yeah. They're, they're jeeps they all kind of look the same to me you know it's right it, with the uh they the have ones a, that we've been looking at today. Yeah, yeah. They have big wheels. Big wheels. <laughs> they have the recovery bumpers. Yeah. This one at least has 37s on it. Yeah, it, so, it doesn't look too bad. No. It doesn't have a lot of the extra accessories, rock sliders. I think it's got a recovery rear bumper. Well, it's got anthems. I'd rock it for BDS. a daily driver. It's got 37s. That's why I gave it a 7. Sure. Other than that. Alrighty. Keep moving. Oh, look at this 2012. one. 2012. Jeep Wrangler, another four door. So the RBPs, 22 by 14s, negative 44 offset, Iron Man All Country, MTs, 35 inch by 12 and a half wide, and Rough Country suspension, three and a half inch lift. There's a lot of orange. I'm a, I'm, I like the, I'm digging the orange. Yeah. Not too bad. It's got the side tube steps. Yeah, he's got uh, aftermarket fenders. It's not a bad looking Jeep. <clears throat> yeah. Got it over? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, five. Six and a half. I love the color. The orange. That, it, it's a cool color. Yeah. Yeah, it stands out. A little flashy. A little yeah. Too flashy. I'm a sucker for orange. Mm. It's got big wheels on it again. Um, yeah. I, I, you know, the more I look at them, I, I, a lot of these guys are probably weekend warriors and not even. They just like the Jeep. I mean, it, it doesn't look that bad on the Jeep. It's not too bad. Now, the first one that we looked at with the 305s, <gasps> yeah, that was a little. I'm sorry. I don't mean to rip on somebody's <laughs> rig. I just, it's, it's not my forte. It's not your thing, right? Yeah. Yep. Saving the best for last. What do we got? What do we got? We're going to go with... What do we got here? I bet you we're going to go with the Jeep. All right, here we go. Oh, what's that? 2017 Jeep Wrangler, another four-door JKU has, for the wheels, has the V-Rock, the anvils, the 22 by 12 wides, negative 44 offset. And it's got the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, 37 inch by 13 and a half, and Synergy, stage three, four, four and a half, stop. Oh, wow. 37s. I, I, I would have to think that maybe he off-roads this a little bit. Yeah, I would say this one, another one with 22s and 37s, so. Yeah, um, a little more sidewall. But. A little bit more. It still looks like there's a good chance of damaging the wheels, but. Oh yeah, yep. Nice. Rip, supercharged. Oh, wow. yes, I, cool. it, it just went up. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You ready? Not too shabby. Yeah. Uh, three, two, one, Eight. seven. Supercharger just jump bumped up a notch, so. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. It's pretty decent. I'd, I'd obviously like the fact too that it's got I would love to see a burnout. Yep. yep. All right. So his name is Aiken.Tim, 2017 Jeep Wrangler JK. If you have a video of you doing a burnout, info at trailbilloffroad.com. Let us know. Yes. Other than that, I think that's all we got. That has been another rating your rigs from the gallery. And I think we're going to name this one Trailer Queens. Not no. necessarily Trailer Queens per se, but they're a little more flashy probably yeah. than what we're used to or what we're into. Yeah. Um, but pretty cool nonetheless. We always appreciate everybody's efforts for um, building their rigs however style yeah. they like or have and also appreciate all of you guys for uploading your vehicles into the gallery and if you haven't already head over to trailbuildoffroad.com upload your rig to the gallery and make sure to list as much details as possible what lift what size tires and wheels if it rubs if there has been any modifications done to it at all um, anything that you guys can give us and good pictures and the more pictures the better so other than that i think that's all we have for you guys today uh, we always appreciate all of you for watching i'm josh from trail Belt. this is brent from trail Belt. and we'll see you guys next time